Good day everybody, welcome to Kampala Road. Uh, today I thought I'd do an overview of how to do a consist on the Z21. Something I've been wanting to do for quite a while. I saw Gary from Cheeky Tech doing it on his Prodigy and uh, thought I'd do it on this. There are very, very little instructions come with the Z21 so you have to hunt around to find out how to do it. So what I did was go on YouTube of course to find out how it was done and there are a few but not many uh, but the one I looked at really was uh, Farland or Farland Howe, Rob McCain in uh, America. He did it on the old app and I'm about to demonstrate it on the new app. I'm showing you this on my ancient iPad, it's a little bit of reflection there so apologies. Yes. Um, these are the two culprits who will be part of the consist, or will make up the consist, I should say. Um, so first of all, you need to set up a consist. The two volunteers are going to be uh, these two um, Backman 37s. The one in the background is featured many times on my layout. The one in the foreground is a recent arrival, which I've never used, so it's going to be interesting. Um, I don't have similar decoders, so the one at the rear has a Hatton's 21 pin decoder and the one at the front has the discarded uh, Gauge Master decoder from Firefly on my last video um, and I've put that in this particular 37. It works perfectly. Right, I have to find the uh, loco that we're dealing with, or one of them, and uh, this is this one. The iPad version differs very slightly from the telephone version on Android, so uh, but basically very very similar, very easy to follow. So in the vehicle setting um, you press plus here and you press train. I stress this is in the new app and the iPad is a little bit slow but there you go, we're ready to set up a new consist. Right, under this area here you choose the locos you want to be involved in your consist and I've chosen the first 37 excuse my phone and I need to find the second 37 which is this one so I'll press that one and they are in there and that is the start of setting up your consist having used these two locomotives you can then set up so you can do a photograph of the double header and put it in. Now I have found a problem on the Android version of that, it won't allow you to load that photograph into the database. Whether that's my phones, I've tried it on two Android phones because I have um, Z21 backed up on three devices. Uh, whether that's the phone or not, I don't know. I haven't tried it on the iPad yet. We'll do that a bit later. Okay, at this stage, when you have chosen your two locomotives, it will come up with a red warning saying you must speed match the two locos. Um, now these two locos are already speed matched because I have them set up in a consist already and I'm going to show you what that entails. Um, it is important because the uh, decoders do not uh, are not similar and having done double headers on the Elite before um, I found it very very difficult as this example shows. What you need to do on this database is go to Traction. So this is my database for Loco. This is, for example, where the functions are. Lights, cab lights. Um, and then you go to Traction on this database. And as you can see, or I hope you can see that, I've put three speed steps in with the timed distance, uh, over time distance. Now I use my longest straight, and that was 15 foot long. And at speed step 32, it took 45 seconds, 45.5 seconds. I've done three, speed step 32, 64, 88. And you can see 64 is double 32, it's almost half. 88, 16 seconds. Now that was quite interesting because that loco had the Gauge Master Omni 21 pin decoder in it. As I said, it was quite interesting. Um, so what I did was a stopwatch on the phone 
as she goes over the points, I timed her over the 15 foot to the second set of points and at speed step 32 she did 45.5 seconds. When I did the second loco, uh, which has the Hatton's 21 pin decoder in, the results were very, very different. At speed step 32, she did 32.1 seconds to do that uh, 15 foot. And as you'd expect at speed step 64, it was 16 seconds. So much, much slower than under the gauge master. Now, because I've set up this consist already, I've seen the performance of it and it's not bad. Um, but if you want to be more accurate between the two locos, you will input more speed steps to uh, smooth out the differences between the two decoders. And that's what I'm about to do. Right, I'm going to add one more speed step to the three speed steps I showed you and switch to the phone as well rather than the iPad. Um, so there are the two 37s, 041 and 034, sitting at the end of the racetrack. And what we're going to do is I'm going to run each one round once to warm her up and get her up to speed and then time her coming down this straight here. Oh, and the wind has blown the gantry. So those are gantries again made for Gary from Cheeky Deck, copying his how-to. That's a subject of a different video. So let's get uh, 041 on the warm-up pack. There she goes. Now the reason I'm doing this is because I've noticed that Right, with the three speed steps I've got going, sorry the build was interrupted there. Um, I noticed that everything is really good up until about speed step 50, about half speed. And then the rear loco, which is 034 in this case, which is the one you can see on the left hand side, starts pushing ever so slightly. So I want to try and smooth that out. I can't show you the start and finish, but I have her at speed step 70. And on the next run, I'll start the clock. Okay, she's off. And stop. 9.28 seconds at speed step 75. Okay, we're going to get uh, 034 now up and running and do her warm up lap, I think. Oh, she's in the right direction too. Off she goes. Wonderful worker. Okay, she's coming round and she's significantly slower at the same speed step. Top watch is on, off she goes, down to the stopwatch, much much slower. Ten seconds slower. Okay, I'm just going to run 03, 041, sorry, round again. I don't believe that discrepancy, I'm going to retime it. Go. Moving at a fair pace. Wasn't too far out. About a second and a half longer on that run, so I'm going to put that figure in. Much, much faster than the other loco. So now is the time to put that data into the traction information of those two locos. To do that, I to do that I need to go into vehicles, find the loco. There she is. And then add to traction. There are the three previous times and I want to add in speed to 75. So you press the plus here. There is the area to put in your speed step and your time which I'll do off camera. 
it can be a little bit fiddly, especially this plus here. Um, when you're trying to put the time in, this plus is in the way. You can move it up slightly, but you keep pressing that and getting a new uh, field to put your times in. Just delete it. But anyway, there's now four time uh, speed steps in there, timed. And uh, I'm going to try the two logos together, see what happens, see if there's an improvement. So on the app, we're ready to go. Let's just see if I can get that a little bit better focus, better reflection. As I said earlier, I cannot get this uh, to work uh, taking a photograph. For some reason, it won't. You can take the photograph, you can crop the photograph, but when you try and load it as the ID of the consist, it doesn't allow it. And it defaults to the leading locomotive, basically, or the first numbered locomotive. OK, we'll give her a go and see what happens. I'm going to put a fairly rapid acceleration up to about 40. OK, that's at speed step 50. I've noticed there is still a little bit of a tug of war at very slow speed. So I may have to do another speed step at a slower pace. Alright, well I've run them for a few minutes and experimented different speeds. I'm finding that at very slow pace, uh, the quicker paces, they're not in agreement. <laughs> and I think the way to do that is to increase the speed steps involved. back a bit. Okay, so I hope that has shown how to basically do a consist on the Z21. There's a little bit of fiddly work to do and I guess the more accurate your speed steps and the timing is, the better it is for the finished result. Um, I think if I was to have this as a permanent consist on the layout, I would make sure that the decoders were the same in each loco and I think the result would be easier to get and overall much better. But it's surprising to see the difference. Basically the same mechanism, same locomotive, two different uh, decoders and the speeds, etc. are very, very different. Okay, well I'll close this with a couple of running shots of a train worthy of a double header. And from Kampala Road, cheers for now.